unknown gunmen storm into community, abduct 15 youths. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Some unknown gunmen on Saturday invaded Ekwe community in Isu local government area of Imo State and kidnapped 15 youth who was converted sand at Injaba River. Politics in Nigeria learned that while some of the gunmen wear masks, others work military camouflage with no mask. After abducting the 15 young men, the hoodlums stormed the palace of the town traditional leader, ruler, Eze Nicholas Ibekwe. According to Eze Ibekwe, one of the gunmen spoke Hausa language. This newspaper learned that the gunmen shot indiscriminately into the air and searched for more youths of the community to abduct. However, no one was killed in the attack. It has not been the best of times for the residents and business owners in Nemo State since the security and rest in the state rose to an alarming level. Once bubbling local governments have become ghost towns as persistent attacks and kidnappings have forced many residents to relocate to safer places. Now, I don't know why the government has turned the deaf ear. A particular Methodist bishop, hmm? A particular is a Methodist bishop or a Methodist and reverend was kidnapped and uh, according to him when he was finally released he came out and he told he told the newsmen or the media what exactly he experienced and what he was told and his revelations were very shocking first of all he said that those who kidnapped him were speaking full and speaking house language they were not speaking they were not speaking the southeastern language at all that is, it was said to him that, that they have surrounded everywhere and are just waiting for signal to finish, you know, to start. That they are everywhere. Everywhere meaning the south and the west and the north that are everywhere. He came out and said that and after that he said they released him. And I keep asking myself, are they trying to tell people to, you know, that this is just the beginning? Because, because people are like, if they kidnap him, why did they release him? Of course, they paid heavily. I think they paid, was it 75 million naira? A lot of people came out and were like 75 million and they were able to pay in how many days. And I'm saying, ha, he's in a Methodist. His method is not in every, his method is not in every um, uh, um, state in Nigeria. Those people can generate funds, of course. And when it comes to the life of an individual, of course, people would want to make sure they donate. Now, back to what I'm saying. I'm saying these people told those people that, look, oh, Look at what is going to happen. But my own my own problem is now is what did the Nigerian government do as they hear this news? Because to me it is seeming like they are turning a deaf ear. They as like I said they don't know what in the happen. We don't want them coming to share Krugodai Tiazo and coming to send condolences so I don't know why the government has refused to be proactive on this insecurity issue. Sincerely, my dear, I do not know. Anybody can speak outside language. Those are non gunmen are members of IPUB and ESN terror group. How do you sound so sure? Sincerely, yes, people can learn outside language. You can go there and learn it. But uh -huh. I think you need to be quizzed by security agents for further investigation proper. It seems you know much about the attack. <laughs> hey, people are very angry. Maybe this kind of issue person is supposed to use play at all. So the Igbo guys cannot face them. I think it is only Yoruba people that used to feel. This one is not a matter of the Igbo guys cannot face them. <laughs> Those people. Eh? Those people. If they face them, the people will come as I can talk. They don't still face them. Then I don't decode them weekly. So if I speak Japanese and use it to execute my criminal plans, then somebody would think Japanese came to steal in Nigeria. This has nothing to do with Fulanis. The enemy is from within. Let us be sincere this time. A whole boss in Nigeria who spoke American slogans are the Americans. Well, a point is a point, sure. Yeah. Yes, it's possible anybody can speak out a language. But he says some of them faces we are not covered. Mm -hmm. The federal government of Buhari and Supreme Court imposed governor as their plan, master plan of all atrocities that is happening in the state. But the Almighty God in heaven will frustrate all the evil works. And if you look at it, it must say atrocity. Like, if you look at it very well, I'm saying, fine, even if um, 
the governor who opposed him was actually imposed on them. If I were him, if I really want to serve the people, I will make sure that I do everything in my power to ensure people are safe and I work for the people. If you like, continue to blame them for yourself. But any right-thinking person understand that everybody due to have been kidnapped to forcefully be recruited into ESN or IPUB. That is the same tactic used by Boko Haram to increase their numbers. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. You must give your non damn name, otherwise you are doomed. Hypocrisy is the disease. Imagine if someone speaks any language of his or choice and commit crimes. That translates into abusing and tainting the tribe. May the enemies of our son fully perish in rage and agony. Hmm. Okay. Have you people seen Boko Haram just succeeded in entering Eastern region in the name of a non gunman? Ibus, please watch out. A whole community now they run for no gunmen. That they are the juju then we they catch them. You know they follow them is the juju and I for catch all of them. The thing is, this is an on nobody saw this one coming. It is a different thing entirely when you know that something is coming and when you know that um, when you don't know. And of course, let's not forget that the southeastern people that are trying to fret with cash on. If they come outside cough, then go say these people cough. If they come outside no cough, then go say these people too quiet. If they defend themselves now, it will be all over the place and the news and the media will carry it that unknown gunmen attack security people. We all know these things. We all know. Full on head cement terrorists at it again. Is Joy Bukwe listening and taking notes? No. Uncle Jono, they see this type of news. Please, I do not Igbo who can speak outside language. Why are you trying to divert as many? Stop diverting attention on who are responsible. The revelation that terrorists are in the southeast is real and the eastern region leaders are not doing anything about the matter. That is what I'm saying. That particular Methodist reverend who was kidnapped came out and said that those people that kidnapped him were full of, they are outside people. Outside, looking outside, speaking outside language and they told him that they never even start. Say now, uh, Hello, one, two. Hello, one, two. Testing the microphone that they do. And me, I w I'm expecting that as the news came out, that Nigerian authorities or the government are going to do something and take proactive measures. But till date, I've not even heard them say, hey, when I say something happened for real, he's seeming not to be very, very, he does not care. Tomorrow now, if these people come out and cry foul, some, but somebody will write an episode on how Buhari is the, ve is the best president so far. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.